So I want to show you some cool things that are happening in drug discovery space. Um, I did talk about the classical approach of how we identify compounds. You know, we used to, now with robotics, you can actually screen 40, 40 million compounds in a single experiment. Everything is automated. People don't touch that. Um, but actually it's still, you're, you're not really sampling all the possible uh, molecules. You see, I have a typo here. We're starting now to think that maybe actually we can do virtual screens. Maybe with all the advances we see computationally, if I'd like to find an inhibitor, let's say for a BRAF, I can computationally design it. I can, I can sample a massive amount of uh, structures and identify those that are the most promising and then um, test only those instead of running screens for dozens of millions of compounds. So I'll show you one very cool example that uh, had many people in the field excited. So on the left, you see a drawing of a chemical compound. It's, uh, that's how we like to typically draw it, you know, chemists and uh, they, they like to these uh, two dimensional uh, images, but actually that's not readable by a computer. You can't fit that uh, image on the left uh, to a computer. So there are, also, typically we use the strings to define them. So SMILES is one technology of uh, making a string. And then of course a computer can read a string. But, uh, and recently there've been, uh, people have shown that you can represent uh, molecules as graphs. And uh, that, that made it interesting, especially for deep learning. I'm gonna show you in a second. And there are also three dimensional structures which are even more difficult in terms of computer and machine learning. But I want to give you an example of, uh, of the graph. So this is a study by um, Regina Barzilai, who was, uh, was at MIT. So she basically, the trick is it, here is how to represent a, a chemical structure to a computer so that it can learn. And they basically represent it as a graph where um, each, each atom here, which is each uh, node in all these structure is a vector, but also the connection between all the atoms is a vector. Um, so it's a graph. And they basically converted a massive uh, database to graphs, each uh, structure to graph. And then what they want is to, they train a model to predict a property. They say, I would like to predict uh, which molecules are soluble, which are toxic, which are, which are excreted fast from the body or not based on data that's available in those databases. 